vectorically that the median of an isosceles triangle is perpendicular to the base. Let's draw a figure. A, B, C. First, let's draw a figure. ABC is a triangle where two sides are equal AV and AZ. It means that ABC is an isosceles triangle. If two sides are equal, then their base angle is also equal. And we need to prove that a median of an isosceles triangle. Let's draw a median. This AD is the median. If it's median, then this side is equal to this side. We need to prove that AD is perpendicular to base, that is BC. Solution in the figure. A, B, C is an isosceles triangle. A, D is a median. If A, if A, D is median, then this B, D equals to D, C. A, B, C is an isosceles triangle. It means that side. AB is equal to AC. To prove, we need to prove that AD is perpendicular to BC. That is, AD, the side representing AD vector dot BC vector equals to 0. If we can show that the scalar product of AD vector and BC vector is zero, then the statement is being proved. Now, in triangle ABC, this triangle ABC, first we apply midpoint theorem or uh, what you can do is that first uh, we apply a triangle of vector addition and then after that we can apply midpoint theorem using triangle law of vector addition PC vector is equal to ba vector plus ac vector these state that direction is bc ba and then ac also using in same triangle we see using midpoint formula that is ad vector is equals to half of ab vector plus ac vector this determine that the direction is from B to A. Here comes AB. We need to change that one. AB is the negative of BA vector plus AC vector is equals to 1 upon 2 AC vector minus BA vector. So, we need to prove that AD is perpendicular to BC. For that, we need to find the scalar product of AD vector and BC vector. Now finding the scalar vector of AD vector dot BC vector is equals to. 
as we need to show it as zero ad vector ad vector equals to half ac vector minus ba vector dot bc vector bc vector means it's ba vector plus ac vector is equals to 1 upon 2 over here see it can be arranged as ba vector plus ac at front and ba at back see these two term a minus b a plus b means we can apply the formula a square minus b square is equals to 1 upon 2 can be written as a c square minus b a square as the scalar product of same big vector is 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 a c vector a c square a vector dot a vector equals to a vector square or it can be written as magnitude of a square or a vector square so a c square a c vector square equals to a c square is equals to half see here a v equals to a c it means that this a c can be replaced by b a means a b a and a c they are the equal sides of actual triangle it is scalar term it means the length is also equal means we can write b a square minus b a square since a b is equal to a c now half into zero equals to zero as a d vector dot b c vector equals to zero means the scalar product of two vector is zero so a d vector is perpendicular to b c vector that is a d is perpendicular to b c hence what we can write the median of an isosceles triangle is perpendicular to the base 